The word for today, getting real. You are tempted in the same way that everyone else is tempted. 1 Corinthians 10, 30. The problem isn't just that we sin, it's that we can't talk about it. We're comfortable with stories of people who used to sin because they have happy endings. Imagine going to a counselor and saying, I only want to discuss problems I used to have. Please don't ask me to confess any current ones. I would be too embarrassed. I'm afraid you would reject me. Why would you go to a counselor and try to convince them that you don't need counsel? People are okay telling a doctor about their physical problem or a mechanic about a problem with their car. Shouldn't we be okay telling each other when we have a problem? If you want God or anyone else to love the real you, you have to work at getting real. David was Israel's best king, but he was a polygamist. He was also a terrible father. He coveted another man's wife, committing adultery with her, attempting to deceive her husband, ultimately having him murdered and covering up his crime for a year. So he was a coveter, an adulterer, a liar, and a murderer. As somebody quit, Nobody in those days was walking around wearing a what would David do bracelet. Yet the Bible calls David a man after God's own heart. 1 Samuel 13, 14. Is it possible to struggle intensely with sin and yearn for God at the same time? Yes. And it's also why the Bible says, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. James 5, 16. That is the word for today.